Hey, Mitch. Hey, Ed. How's Where are you, Ed? What are you doing uh -oh. in that box? Guess what? Hasbro what? Pulse sent me this for free to review for our show. All these amazing Indiana Jones toys. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's open it up. Let's get to it. Hi, this is Ed Dollister. And this is Mitch Halleck. And welcome to a special edition of Mitch and Ed's Excellent Adventure. Before we begin, if you want to find out a little bit more about our show, Mitch, what can you do? Oh, Ed, it is as easy as dragging behind a truck and going back inside by using your bullwhip as a rope to get in there and then punch the guy. Okay, forget it. All you got to do is to subscribe to the Mitch and Ed's Excellent Adventure by hitting the button below. And you too will know when Ed and I go on another excellent adventure into the world of TV, toys, movies, and more right here on the mighty YouTube. What do we got today, Ed? Well, we got, we've got got a special edition of the show, as I said, because with obviously Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny um, hitting next month in theaters, it just premiered at, at the Cannes Film Festival. And there's a stack of Indiana Jones toys being released. Hasbro Pulse was kind enough to send us at the IndyCast this free box of Indiana Jones first wave of toys. And I thought we'd have a quick look because some of these are not available in Australia, which is kind of cool. So I'm really happy to have that. And uh, I thought we'd take a look. All right. Well, it's not going to be the Ark of the Covenant. So open your eyes, Ed. Let's see what we got. <laughs> All right. So the firstly, this thing is huge. And I love this. Uh, oh, I love this box that it comes with uh, done nice. like the crate. Join Indy for the ultimate adventure. And uh, that's nice. And I've got to say, when I'm I'm probably going to go out of shot here, but that's okay. But when we open it up, what oh I my. what I love is it harkens back to the old um, Indiana Jones uh, artwork from 2008, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool. So, mm -hmm. and in here is, well, I'm going to show you. Have a look at all that. There is a stack of exciting toys here. The first wave, in fact, of toys. And uh, let me try and, geez, you can tell I've never done an unboxing before. I was um, going to say, the box is, you're not supposed to fall into the box. I know, I know. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let's, oh, let's, I'm going to move this over here and we can have a bit of a, I'll look at some of the fantastic, oh, oh. God, you're going to be all right there? Don't yeah, pull it. Don't, there goes that hernia again. I know, I know. I know. Here we go. Okay, so. First up in first. the box we have got, which is I'm really excited for, was the first wave of Indiana Jones uh, figures, which we know and uh, love oh, from yeah. Kenner. That's right. And um, the interesting thing is with these, uh, so obviously we've got uh, Tote there, uh, which is great. Uh, we've got somewhere in here. Where is he? Hey, can you let me see one of those? Let me yep. see the Indian. I want to show you, uh, yeah, the indie one because, oh, there you go. How'd you get that? It's magic, Ed. I sneezed it all the way over here. <laughs> now, this one has got, is interesting. They changed the card back. So this is uh, 23601, yeah. whereas the original uh, one that they brought out is uh, 23301. So And... I have the original actually right over here on the wall. The difference is in the original, there's no Belloc in the ceremonial guards. You had to mail away for that figure. So he was not on the original box. That is that is correct. And uh, my version that I can't get out because I've got too much indie stuff actually has over the Belloc um, free, you know, get Belloc free. It's got yeah. often not valid in Australia, unfortunately. But Oh, um, that's too funny. It is. But this one, I, I noticed that the indie actually, this version has got um a, the card. If you have a look at the card, Mitch, yeah. it's actually really sturdy. Whereas the um the original ones uh, that they released um were a lot um a lot thinner, the card. But what I'm super happy with, because these are, are very hard to find in Australia, is really? that you've actually got Marion and Belloc in there, which is fantastic. Oh, let me see that. Yeah, you grab. Hold on. Did you get them? Oh, I got it. 
Uh, excellent. Oh, I got them both here now. Yeah. Now, you know what the thing is? This is like impossible to find. The original one of these is going to cost you a pretty penny. We're talking hundreds of dollars, not if not thousands. There is my so, original. There's my original Marion, right there. Does she have the monkey? Uh the monkey is some. I don't know where the monkey. Somewhere is. Somewhere the monkey is. Well, I'm just saying that this originally was this impossible to come by, and then, like I said, this was the mail away years yep. ago. If you want to get, it. so it's nice they did both of these, and I know that you're having trouble finding these in Australia, but. Right here in the U.S., I've only seen them at Target. I've not seen them at Walmart or anybody else, or I've seen them at some toy shows and comic cons. But these are actually on a lot of shelves at the local Targets. I've seen huh. Marion. I've seen Belloc. I've seen uh, the German Mechanic. I have not seen Indian Tote. First they were here, and now they're gone. So I don't know how they're shipping them per yep. box, but it seems to be hit or miss. So if you want these, they're pretty plentiful right now. If okay. you want Indy... Good luck trying to find them. So, ah, well, that's good field. to know. You know what, though, you can go to the Hasbro website and order all of them. I think, yeah, even this one. So there you go. Sadly, we haven't seen, and I know not sadly. I mean, because I'm grateful that we got that uh, we were sent this. This is obviously the first wave of figures, but there is um the retro Temple of Doom uh, figures, yeah. and there's the retro Last Crusade figures, but um. They haven't been. They haven't been. No, seen that's before. not going to be for a while, I think. Yeah. And then you wonder: Are they going to make retro Crystal Skull, and are they going to make retro? I hope so. I, I you know, you want to complete the set. Now, the other thing that's that came in here is the complete series of the adventure, adventure series. series figures, and um, nice. I have to say, I love these figures. I know. Um, yeah. I was a bit concerned with the blind box, you know. But the ones that I got because I've got I bought a whole set as well. Um, yeah. The they're fantastic, and I've got to say the indie. Um, oh, sorry, the focus is not great, but of course you get to make. Oh yeah, you built the, yeah. Arc That's of the your Covenant. build a figure, build a relic. They call it on yeah. the set. So each one of those comes with a different piece of the Ark of the Covenant, so you can put it together. It's really clever that they did that. And you know what? Yeah. I, I can't recall what they're going to do for the Temple of Doom. I think it's that skull and Shankara stones. With the, yeah, you put the Shankara stones. So this is the uh, Staff of Ra headpiece. You got it? Yeah. It's hard picking up things from Australia. Ed, you know? I know. I got it somewhere. I just well, had it. How about I show it to you out of the packet? Oh, here it is. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's. There's stuff all over here in the archives. So that's that's it here. And oh, what wow. you can Ed, do is you can press that and see how it lights. lights the up. only thing that doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's six kadams high, <laughs> about seventy two inches. That's what that's what Kelly that's what Kelly said. She goes, "Oh, how come the staff's not um you know?" Uh, and I said, "Well, you know, it's what you do with the staff really that counts, doesn't it?" So yeah, um, that's what she's that's what she said. So um. This is kind of cool, and I've got to say... It's got um, some heft, heft to it. It is. The base is quite heavy, in fact. Yeah. And you've got the different places that you can put the, the staff in, and when you put it in here, it lights up. And it's a really nice um desk ornament. I reckon you could put pens in here. I Light effects. It. Yeah. Look at that. I would, I, I would use it um for that. Wow, when you come here to America in a couple more weeks, you better just bring an empty suitcase because <laughs> you I'm gonna bring a shipping crate, I think. <laughs> yeah, uh which yeah. would be good. Now, the the other thing that um came in this was which was really cool, and they haven't hit in Australia, and these um are for the younger Indiana Jones fans, but you know, they're, they're yeah, awesome. I think they're great fun, which is the worlds of adventure oh. sets. Yeah, you know, a lot of kids, I remember when my boys were little, they were perfect age for Crystal Skull. Owen was eight and Spencer was 10. And they were getting into Indiana Jones. And at the time, they made little tiny uh, PVC figures. I have a couple of them around the house. But yep. yeah, but there wasn't a lot. So it was kind of cool that Hasbro was smart enough this time to uh, do a lot of these. Here's one, yeah. too. You just let me see. It's the one with the motorcycle. 
Oh yeah, I've got like a motorcycle, you know. I've got the motorcycle. I've got um in here Indy on his uh horseback for uh when he's uh running yeah. around yeah. in Last Crusade yeah. or not Last Crusade in Raiders Lost Ark. Which no, this great. one reminds me of Last Crusade because there's a sidecar on it. It is, and he actually oh well this one too, he actually does come with the grail, so there is that oh. as well. Let me see. No, oh you know what? This one has an umbrella. No, that's not an umbrella. That's a missile, I think. It looks like an umbrella, though. I was like to say, is there a Henry Jones figure coming soon? Well, this is a, this is the Last Crusade version because the indie figure, if you have a look, he's got yeah. his tie on. Oh, yeah, that's the one there. So that's cool. And the other one here is the uh, Raiders, the Raiders of Lost Ark one, the temple, because it's got the boulder. And the gold idol, yes. He's got the gold really idol, cool. he's got some stuff. Yeah, so this is definitely the Raiders of the Lost Ark one. And we've got some Dial of Destiny uh, toys. So this is cool, the first Dial of Destiny toy um, we've got. So we've got um, Helena Shaw, not oh, in a okay. tuk but on a I motorcycle. Have not, I have not seen that here in the U.S. Yeah. You can only get that right now at Target.com. There you go. I've got... I've got this one. Us. I'll, I'll raise you and see you, Dr. Jürgen Voller. Yeah. Mads Mikkelsen himself. With Now this, if you watch the trailer, you see this plane in there, and it looks like Indy's uh, trying to escape from it. He and Helena jump out of the plane uh, when it's on fire. So a little spoiler yeah. alert there. So we know now this the plane last is two. Not... I know. Sorry, Mitch. I was just going to say the doesn't last make two it all the way. items in here. Again, uh, part of the like role play. Uh, this one is a bit of role play. Now, this is yep. the Indiana Jones snap and retract action whip that just goes without without hurting you because this is aimed for kids, right? What? I know, crazy, you know, right? You got to think is there's some crazy guy out there who's in his backyard with a real bull whip and getting upset about it because he's like, that's a real whip. Well, that's not for children. That is for children so i understand having two kids of my own you really don't want to give them a 10 foot leather bull whip so they can take their eye out but Absolutely. you can give them that toy because it's designed for imagination and playing and not for grown men that's so right. bravo hasbro i think hasbro. i think it's great because I my first too. whip when i dressed up as indiana jones at a dress right. up in 1982 was my first dress up as indy um my dad made me out of rope um yep. uh, a whip and we um stained it brown to make yep. it leather and he made uh he made the 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 handle, the handle. and i drew little hieroglyphs on the yeah on the handle yeah. and everything so i think that's great to have say, that sort of thing we used a clothesline whip uh, for a whip literally like a clothesline and does the same thing just colored it brown yeah. and pretended it's called an imagination that's right and the last thing in here surprisingly yeah. is my i think that's my it. favorite of the lot okay so um it is oh the big indie nice now if you have a look at oh, let me just move some stuff here so i can get a bit closer that sculpt yeah. is fantastic and i'll put him near the mic so you can hear well he might be able to hear don't, don't call me Joe. Belongs in a museum, and the, the sound clips are super clear. X marks the spot. What what I do like, they've um they've uh, added a little bit like his um jackets a little bit three D, which is great. Yeah. What you do yeah. on the back is you just hit his um his uh like uh satchel on the back. Yeah. So yeah. it's you know it's he's just wearing it on his back, but that's okay. Um. Yeah. I reckon some um, customizers will go re go to town with that because it's a really good sculpt of um, Indy. Um, it reminds um, me of the line of uh, Marvel figures that Hasbro comes out with. They call them Titan figures, which are, yes. are big figures. They're not as intricate, articulated as the small ones, but they're perfect for a young kid to have, even an older collector, yeah. to have that on your shelf and stuff that talks. That's really cool. So you got a lot of cool stuff there. And that's just the first wave of Indiana Jones products that Hasbro's promised us. Like you said there's Temple of Doom toys to come out. There's more adventure series. And I'm pretty sure we'll see a lot more from the Dial of Destiny once the movie comes out. They'll probably be able to release more of the uh, the products. They don't want to uh, avoid spoilers at the moment, I bet. 
Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure they do, which is, which is what we're all trying to avoid. So we are spoiler free here on the, um, you know, the IndyCast and also on the Raider.net. So don't forget, uh, you can also check out our um, podcast or other website. website and again, yeah. uh, if you want to find out a little bit more, because we do cover um, a lot of Indiana Jones on Mitch and Ed's Excellent Adventure. In fact, we've got one coming up pretty soon. It depends, I suppose, when you watch this in what order. But what can you do, Mitch? Oh, Ed is as easily as going into a pit full of snakes and getting the prize that you've looked for all your life. All you do is hit the subscribe button below and you too will be subscribed to Mission Ed as we go on another excellent adventure almost every week here on YouTube. And hit the like button too because it makes us feel good. And that's all I've got here in the well, unboxing episode. But I know what I've got here to paraphrase. No, that didn't really work, bad. But I was it's trying to paraphrase. Little... Andy. You know Ed, what I was Ed, going for. Okay, they don't know what they've got there. But I know what I've got here. Thanks, Hasbro. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time. This is Ed Dollister. And this is Mitch Halleck. Take care and uh, stay safe out there.